Move! I didn't do anything. Move! Yes, I don't like to do anything. Move! Where are you going? Move! 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 Princess Candy. Move! Move! Princess Candy. Okay. Candy, what have you done? Move! 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 He will be in that police here till Greg and I are done with our marriage. Say it's cool. Candy, if you don't go to that police station to release my son, I will do something stupid. I will do no such thing, mother. Or what? Mother, move. I don't want to disrespect you. Move. All right. We shall see. What is wrong with you? Why are your face like that? I sit there. Ah. What? Why is your face like this? Huh? Papa. Huh? I went to my uncle's house. What happened? He was beaten by the prince of this land. What? What did he do that warranted the prince to lay his hands on his in-law? Exactly my question. Exactly my question. It's not only that though. He said the prince asked him not to come to the palace again. That he will no longer marry Princess Candy. Yes. What nonsense. He actually does not want my brother to marry his sister. Does not give him that impetus to lay his hands on him. No. Papa, the prince is pointing his fingers at you people. You and your brother. Because he knows you cannot do anything. But you have to do something. Papa, yeah. you have to do something though. Yes, you have to do something. Show the prince that you can do something. Because nobody is above the law. What he did was abuse of marital rights. Yes. He doesn't have any right to, 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 to touch my uncle. What's that now? You have to do something. You can't just sit and say, the prince, the prince, the prince. Well, what you said is true. He does not have any right to lay his hands on him. I'm just regretting why I was made a woman. If not, eh, you see that prince, eh? He would have seen the bitter part of me. Manayadiba. Papa Yadiba, oh. He should not forget that. There is God and he's watching. Does he incur any injury? I'm not sure, but he complained of body pain, which I bought drugs for him. Don't, Don't worry. Think. I will go and see the king and ask him if he, if he was aware of what you told me. Papa, he was aware. Yes, he was. What do you expect him to do? A man that is acting as if he's under a spell. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Papa, don't tell me to shut up. Don't tell me to shut up because I'm saying nothing but the truth. Don't tell me to shut up now. Let me ask you one question. When my mother was still alive, did she ever argue or disobey any of her words? Answer me. Did she? Of course you cannot answer. Because you know I'm saying the truth. Ah. Okay, go. My good wife. Omari Cham. I'm sorry, Papa. I didn't mean to remind you of the past. But let's just call a spade a spade. That woman is remoting the king like a toy. But don't worry. Her days are not bad. My friend shift. Come bring me food to eat, Abek. I'm hungry. Food? Food. Papa, did you say food? Yes. Like you want to eat. If I give you food now, you will eat. I'll eat it very well. Papa, I just told you that the prince beat your only brother and you are here talking of food. You want to eat food? Ah, is he dead? You told me that the prince beat my brother. So I will go hungry because the prince beat
beat my brother. Go and get me food to eat. I will see him later. Papa, it's not later. You're supposed to go and see the king now. Not later. Papa, go and see him now. Not food. Go and see him. Go there. Go there and, 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 and talk with the, the, the king. Go there and fight. You are a man. Papa, go. I should go and see the king with empty stomach. Then if I'm going on the road, I fall. They will say this man is not feeding well. My friend, go on, give Papa, me Papa, you food. cannot fall. You Papa. cannot fall. But don't worry. If you don't want to go, Papa, I can go. Eh. I'll just go there and scatter things. You know me now. I'll just go there and scatter things. I'll, I can go there. Go. You should know me. Oh. Go there now. What is stopping you? I can go there. Yes, love. He has been arrested. Uh -huh. Come on, sweetie. It's necessary. Listen, I am getting rid of any and every negative energies around us. I'm sure by now will be cooling off in the police cell. <laughs> and he's going to be there till we are done with our marriage. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. Everything is under control, okay? <laughs> ah. Sweetie, I have to call you back. Take care of yourself. I love you. Kisses. You think you've won yourself a trophy by arresting your brother? The Prince of Umuchi Kingdom? Hmm? Well, mother, I'm going to get married to Greg, with or without your consent. You will not marry that wretch. <laughs> I will marry Greg. I can never be mother-in-law to that pauper. Well, you're not the one getting married to Greg here. I am. Then you won't get my blessing. Who cares? I have the blessings of God and that of my father. That's all I need. Excuse me. Have a wedding to go I will soon know that which beats the drum in the dust. Yes! Makosakosa, Yomu Makana, Odwan. Osakosa, Yomu Makana. <laughs> a little patient and she would have ended up with the right man, Dr. Philip. Well, both of you will not make me leave my marriage. Not for anything in this world. Oh, really? I can see that that fool used charms on you. But that will not work. Did you hear what I said? That charms will not work in this palace, in this kingdom. Well, it will interest you to know that I married Greg out of love. He did not use any charm on me. What we feel for each other is natural. Who pair love? What stupid love are you talking about? That we trained you in one of the prestigious universities we have around in this country. All you could do is to end up marrying a Poor classroom teacher for a payback or what? A man who cannot fit for his family. Look at you. Look at what he has reduced you into. Love my fruit. You can say that again, Mom. My sister has lost herself because of stupid love. Look at you. Look at the way you are dressed. People will not even recognize you as royalty. Thank you, mother. 
Thank you, Bella. I'm fine. You're not. I'm sure you don't have a mirror in that house, do you? <laughs> Mother, I want to ask you one question. Which is? Did you marry my father as a king? Excellent question, my beautiful daughter. Ask her. Now, you are pretending conveniently that you didn't fall in love with me as a classroom teacher. Were you a classroom teacher or a principal? What difference does it make? I'm not. A classroom teacher, a principal. What difference does it make? The fact remains that you didn't marry my father as a king. So I'm only following your footsteps. Well, we were not feeding from my father. <laughs> I hope you're okay. Yes, I'm fine. How was school today? School. It's fine. Are you okay? I'm fine. Fine. Let me get you some food to eat. I know you must be tired. Except normal pregnancy stress. See, I've told you, take things easy on yourself. I've told you before now, leave the house chores for me. I'll do them any time I'm back. Hmm? Please. Thanks, darling. In that case, there is just going and have a nap. Hmm? When I'm done, I'll just clear the table. Thanks.
Are you sure this man is not using bold on you? Hmm? Mother, you are yet to tell me the reason for your sudden visit. Because I've been married for five months and you've not called. You and your son have not called or visited to check up on us. Am I stupid to visit here? This God for second place? Come on, my princess, everywhere stinks. Mother! What have you come to do in this God-forsaken stinking place? Hmm. Well, since Muhammad has refused to go to the mountain, the mountain has decided to come to Muhammad. Princess, you've not been taking my calls. So I have decided to come to this altar to inform you that Dr. Phillips will be coming to the palace with his people to perform the traditional rites and take you to live with him in America. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this a joke? better man the fitting of your status and not this great who is complete failure. There you go, insulting my husband again. Mother, I have made it clear that I am not part of this madness. Yes, you are. Yes. You are. Get rid of that pregnancy. And come marry one who is befitting of you. I should do what? Divorce Greg. Divorce Greg. That's it, mother. You have overstayed your welcome. Now get up and get out of my house. You heard me the first time, mother. Get out of my house! Hmm. Lies? You call this... this thing a house? Seen the house Dr. Philip built in this kingdom and his numerous houses scattered everywhere. Oh, I forgot. You're from this kingdom. I'm sure you've seen it, but have you entered into the compound or even the sitting room? The torch there is heaven and earth. You should go take a look. Go see for yourself what a fellow man like your so-called husband built for himself. Yes. Mother, we all know the story of Philip in this kingdom. Every man has his time of glory. So was my father, your husband. And very soon, it will be my husband's turn. <laughs> He's still a child, my girl. Greg, complete failure. No, 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 mother. I take an exception to that. I will not have you insult my husband before me in my house.
trying so hard to respect you as my mother. Don't push me, please. Don't. I'm staying to go home. upon myself. Never. Hello, my princess. How are you? Greetings, father. Greetings. How is my in-law? He has gone to school. I hope you're fine. I hope everything is okay. Well, we are... We are fine. No. From what I'm hearing from your voice, my daughter that I know, I don't think you're fine. Honestly, I am not okay. I thought as much. So what's the problem? Father, since I got married to Greg, my mother has not called or, or visited to check up on us. All of a sudden, she won't allow me rest simply because Philip is back from overseas. Look, my princess. Don't listen to your mother. Okay? Father, are you aware of what she's telling me to do? Does she even know the implication of what she's delving into? <sighs> Father, I don't know why she's always giving me this impression that she's not worthy to be called my mother. Like I said, my daughter, don't listen to your mother. Stay with your husband, okay? Thank you, Father. Look, what your mother is asking you to do is sacrilegious according to our customs and traditions. Don't listen to your mother. Stay with your husband. I'm solidly behind you, okay? Thank you, Father. Good.
are you taking those? My queen, his highness. On whose order are you taking this? My queen, Igwe demands we take them to the princess and the husband. For what? For what purpose? Are you all going to stand and not answer my question? No, my queen. If it's my queen. Where you came from? Do your parents feed your marriage sister with her husband and relatives? Mm, no, my queen. Your answer is no, right? Yes, my queen. I saw the boat open. I believe the rice and tubers of yam are also going to be taken to the princess. Yes, I dropped the food. We dropped the rice and the tubers of so tubers of yam is there. If I close my eyes and open them and you still stand them without returning those items from my back and store where you took it from and go to the car and remove that bag of rice and tubers of yam. I will chop all of your heads off. Now get out! Please! Turn. I'm that brute. It's still open, and the rice in there with troubles of you. brain boss, the only academic doctor which she has produced. My queen, <laughs> enough of the praises. I am actually flattered. I owe my gratitude to the king, your husband. Oh, come on. We owe our lives and everything we have to the gods and not mortals. Well, you're right. But the king, your husband, allowed the gods to use him for my sake. If not, I would have ended up a wretched man. Exactly. Um, what can I offer you? I have everything. Okay. Saying this? Are you sure? I'm good. Very. Speaking about Igwe Festus in the name of my husband. Do you know? that he supported the princess marrying that poor classroom teacher. He did? The prince and I fought it. We did everything possible to stop them, but the king said we should allow the princess to follow her heart. Her heart? I'm sorry, but when I heard about it, I, I didn't believe it. I mean, the princess of this kingdom getting married to a, a classroom teacher. That's, in my opinion, I feel like you shouldn't have allowed that. We tried. Do you know that the princess called the police on her brother on this case? Did it get that far? It was worse than that. Wow. I know it will come to a point where she'll start regretting her actions. Surprising to hear, tell me. Do you know to feed twice a day in that house is a problem? We used to carry food items from the palace to them all the time. Are you kidding me? She's full of regrets. My 
queen, the truth is I've always loved the princess. And my intention was to make her mine. I wanted to get married to her. But... What, my son? It is never too late. She's just five months old in that stupid marriage. There's no child yet. My queen, are you saying I can still get married to her? Of course, because the marriage is not working out. So I still have hope? Yes. She wants to quit. Like I said earlier, she's regretting her actions. Oh, okay. <laughs> this uh, still works. Mother, what have we come to do here again? Mm -hmm. Let's talk, let's talk. No. Say whatever you have come to say here. I insist we go in and talk. Walls have ears. And I insist you say whatever you want to say here. Privacy? Since you have decided that you want us to wash our data leanings outside. No problems. Well, I've come to inform you that Dr. Felix has agreed to marry you. On the condition that you will leave this thing you call marriage. He said he's not keen about the pregnancy. He wants to marry you, give you a better life, and take you away from this daughter. You know what that means? It will take you away from Greek, from poverty, to America, to start over like a princess that you are. You know what I think? I think your doctor, Philip, is sick. Excuse me? You heard me. He is very stupid. I mean, I expected better from someone like him. He wants me to leave my husband. Just to marry him. Someone that I have no feelings for. Somebody that I don't love. That I know nothing about. Oh, oh, he thinks he can buy me over because he has money. Well, mother, go back and tell him that even with all the money in this world, I will not marry him. Of course you will marry him. What has come over you? Do you know what you're rejecting? someone who has a gold mine been looking for gold dust he wants to take you away and give you a better life what is wrong with you what is moving you what is controlling you again mother I have overstayed your welcome please leave I will leave. But you have to listen first. If you make me lose the chances of becoming Philip, mother-in-law, I won't threaten to 
that's on you as a daughter. But you will like me. Mark my words. You will not like me. Mark my words. <laughs> What is this for crying out loud? Why is the whole place messed up like this? Hello, honey. Greg, you're back. Honey, did you just call me by my name? Ah, sorry, love. You're welcome. What happened? Why is the whole place messed up like this? Sweetheart, you're back now. So please help me fix it. Hmm? I'm sleeping in the room. Thank you. Let me go back to sleep. Not the wife that I married. No, this is not princess. Something is wrong somewhere. for me, I'm hungry. Honey, you know I didn't eat this morning before going to school. I'm hungry. There is no food. I don't get it. What do you mean by there is no food? You, what do you mean by it? I don't get it? My teacher, can't you understand simple English again? Eh? There is no food in this house. When you were living in the morning, did you drop money for food? So my, I, I, I didn't get it. Honey, I didn't get it. What has come over you? 
Just look at the way you spoke to me in the city room as if I offended you. Well, if I've offended you, please know that it is unwilling. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Yes, you have offended me. You have offended me by not taking proper care of me. Greg, look at me. Look how haggard I am. Was I like this when you came to the palace to marry me? Was I like this? I've been suffering in this house. Hunger, starvation. Uh, he, 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 there, stand there asking me if you have offended me. Yes, you have offended me. Sweetheart, but His Majesty said he was going to send food across to us. You should be ashamed of yourself. His Majesty said they're going to send food across to us. So we should depend on the palace before we eat. Are you not ashamed? You are not getting much now. That's why I said we should pick a job, but you really refused. What are you saying? No, are you trying to insult me? You are now insulting the princess of this kingdom. You are calling me jobless, unemployed. Eh? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Look at this one. You should be ashamed of yourself. Eh? You are calling me lazy, jobless. You want to use my unemployment as an excuse for not living up to your responsibilities as a man. Look at you. You should cover your face in shame. Rubbish. Princess Candy, are you now regretting marrying me? Regret is an understatement. Now I know why my mother and brother kicked against me marrying you. Ah! Ah! Now I know. I married the wrong man. I married the wrong man! Ah! Greg! You are the wrong man. She's now regretting accepting my proposal. Mother, I have not known a better life since I got married to Greg. Now I know that love is not all it takes for a marriage to work. Money has a major role to play. I thought I love Greg, but no. What I feel for him is pity. Pity, not love. <sighs> Princess, if I understood, you are ready to walk away and obey your mother, right? Yes, mother. I'm ready to marry Dr. Philip since He's ready to marry me despite the fact that I was married before. Oh, I'm glad. Philip has been waiting for you to leave that wretch. Now that you have accepted to marry him, I should take you to this waiting house. But first, you have to go for an abortion. Princess, are you ready to grit your teeth and go through this? Have you made up your mind to terminate that fate was in your womb?
Yes. My mind is made up. Sounds good. When you meet with Philip, do not mention pregnancy or abortion to him. By the time you sit and talk with Philip, you will realize that he's not a man who says a thing and fails to do it. Mother, we are going to have we're going to have a little challenge here. Which is Greg knows about this pregnancy. In fact, he went with me to the hospital the day I did the pregnancy test. What will I tell him happens to the pregnancy? Well, if he becomes nosy as to know what happened to the pregnancy, tell him there was no pregnancy and you were just pretending all this while. Come on, you can go through this. It's, it's just a fetus. Huh? One lateral injection and everything will be washed. To get you Melioda. You just take it now and later. Before tomorrow, you're okay. <laughs> Mother, are, are you sure we did the right thing? Of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the only way out. <sighs> Come on, let's go inside. 
You'll be fine. You don't have to be Mother, he's really doing well for himself, I must say. I told you. This is the kind of life that befits a princess. But what's mm. keeping him? We've been waiting for some time calm now. Calm down, Candy. Didn't you hear the house up when he said that he's taking a nap? He'll soon be here. Do you see the slats? Very nice. Oh. Hello. Hello, doctor. Mother. Yeah. You're here. I am. <laughs> nice to see you, Mom. Nice to see you too. I'm quick. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Um. Uh, hi. How are you? We're told you you were taking a nap. Oh yes, I. Uh, I had a busy day, so uh, I fell asleep. Oh. But I, I tried to get some sleep but when I have the chance to. Very important yeah. to go off stress. I know. Mm. So who, who's the, the beautiful woman with you? Oh, my daughter, Princess Kanti. Ah, wow. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. You have grown into a, a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I have to leave both of you to talk while I rush back to the palace to do one or two things. Uh, let me offer you something to oh, drink. Oh, come on. I'm all right. No, I want to offer you something. I mean, you're my guest. Okay, I need to take care of you. Stop. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Yes. All right, then. See ya. Call me when you're done talking. It's right. You are blind. You are blind. You didn't see my box. You didn't see chooks with my box. What is it? So, what happens to her? What, baby? What are you talking about? I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Why? Can you swear that you're not pregnant? You want me to swear? Eh? I am not pregnant. Do you know me more than you know myself? I am not pregnant. I've never been pregnant before. Princess! What? You a pathological liar. How can you say you're not pregnant? How can you say I'm pregnant? Excuse me. Excuse me for what? 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 What?